it's nothing new that hasn't happened before. It's just been accelerated and there just happens to be a really large group of people coming into marrying age. Hey, it's all coming to you with another video. Uh, CoreLogic just came out with their home price insights for August, year over year in August, home prices around the country went up 5.9%, I believe. Um, I'll post some of this data here in the video. Uh, uh, what's interesting is that uh, for homes priced 25% below the median home price, they went up 8.6%. And that just goes to show you uh, the amount of people with the millennials that are coming into the housing market right now to buy, the people who are moving out of urban urban areas, out of apartments that want to buy places. We're seeing it on the rental side. I'm going to talk about that in another video as well. What's really interesting is CoreLogic is predicting that home prices are going to uh, stay flat going forward and even negative in, in many markets. They believe that there's a lot of people that are going to be selling their houses in 2021 that's going to slow that appreciation which has been really accelerated I don't think it would be a bad thing for this to happen I just don't know if it's going to happen there's such a low supply of homes I've been talking to builders who are trying to keep up in one sense but also not trying to build too many homes because they don't want to be caught with their uh, pants down like they were in 2008 I don't think there's a risk of that uh, even if all the homes in forbearance went into foreclosure we'd still be fine I'll talk about that on another video coming up as well interesting thing the top 10 states with appreciation. You've got places like Idaho, Montana, Arizona, Utah, Missouri, Maine, uh, Tennessee, a few other states. I don't remember. I'll post them on here. They all are just off the charts. And that's not a surprise because people are moving out of the urban areas. Some people. Now, not everybody's going to move out of the urban areas. There's a whole another generation of younger people coming up that are going to move into these urban areas and move into the cities to work because that's kind of what they do. And while we talk a lot about these migration patterns and the this is this amazing thing of people moving to the cities. I've been talking, or moving out of the cities. I've been talking about it a lot. It's nothing new that hasn't happened before. It's just been accelerated and there just happens to be a really large group of people coming into marrying age and they actually waited longer. So they're even be more aggressive of moving out of the urban areas into the less urban areas, into these great hipsterbia type areas I talk about a lot. And to that, CoreLogic is predicting some markets that are going to get hit really hard. Very much urban tourism based markets, which is interesting. But Lake Charles, Louisiana was mentioned as one. I'm not sure why I see that because I see a lot of people wanting to move to these areas. Uh, Las Vegas, Nevada is one that are, people are predicting that it's about to get crushed. I have some friends that I know very well in Las Vegas who do, who do a lot of business on the fix and flip side and on the rental side. They've never been busier. Um, our office there has never been busier. Our, our, our companies have never been busier on the rental side. And, and in Vegas, it's off the charts. So it's going to be interesting to see that they're predicting by 70% confidence that the Las Vegas market is going to get slammed in 2021. Um, I would like to hear any of you from Las Vegas. What do you think about that? Because that's an interesting one. I'll post the list of the rest of the markets. So uh, the Case Shiller as well, they talk about a little bit, but really what they're saying is it's just a lot of people are going to start selling. It's going to put some downward pressure on pricing that have just been off the charts. So I don't think that's a bad thing. If it does happen, we'll see. Tell me what you think. Uh, thanks for watching. Look forward to hearing from you.